Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in southern Firene. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. We should investigate. There's an emblem inside this bracelet, all right. The presence inside is complicated, but I think I have the invocation. Lead us, emblem of rivals. Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. I guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. I get the feeling you've come to give me some sort of test. No need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. And your timing is excellent. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Speak for yourself. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every telling. Yes, the sarcastic interruptions kept increasing too. Coincidence, I'm sure. You three all seem to be... really comfortable with each other. Appearances can be deceiving. Really, Edelgard? She's kidding. You can tell because her face looks exactly the same as when she's serious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the Officer's Academy, but we led different houses. That's what you meant by competition. Yes. We only truly came together for special events, like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional mock battle between the houses, to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant that night. Dimitri looks pretty straight-laced, but don't let him fool you. Between you and me, he's like a force of destruction at a party. I'm surprised they didn't expel his whole house for those shenanigans. <laughs> Must have been quite a night. You only just met him, so you can't tell if he's joking. Just ignore half of everything he says. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. You do know a third is less than half, right? I see we've gained some dependable allies. Professor, you're here as well? Now I truly feel motivated. What an honor it will be to fight by your side. If you're that honored, I'll have to make sure I'm at my best. This little reunion reminds me of the day we first met the Professor. You mean that night our camp was attacked by bandits? <laughs> That's right. Only now, Claude won't be able to make any strategic retreats. I guess we are sort of stuck together now, aren't we? I hate to say it, but we'll need to learn to get along better if we're fighting on the same side. Yes, you will. True. None of us can do all that we must on our own. But together, as part of this army, I think defeat is inconceivable. Maybe I sound arrogant, but I'm that confident in the skills our professor has taught us. Wouldn't you agree, my teacher? Of course. I am proud of you all. This time, let us fight together to the end. Let me say it formally. Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. We are here to help. And if these two and their conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. I'll do my best to help the three of you work together.
Edelgard, count on me.